What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. Now, before we get started, I want you to smash that like button for more content. And <clears throat> those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and smash that like button for more content. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> my subject is we are living in a time where either you got it or you don't. The reason why I'm making this video is for those of you, uh oh, sorry about, you know what, I'm going to get that out of my nose. I'm going to get that here right out of my nose one day, but it won't be today. Anyway, the <clears throat> uh, reason why I'm making this video is for those of you who see it, <laughs> for those of you who are so justifiably busy that you ain't seen it yet, but when it pop up, you be like, you know what, I, I, I think I heard Brian say something about that. Now listen, oh, oh, wait a minute, before I get started, shout out to everybody, but without you, Now, um, shout outs to those who support the Brian Watkins channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those of you who want to continue to support the Brian Watkins channel, or if you want to start supporting the Brian Watkins channel, my link to the Cash App <clears throat> will be in the description section. Oh, yeah. Started. Now, here's what I'm seeing. Um, beautiful women, not all of them, but most of them, is, uh, you know, in the community, they work at the coffee shops, they work at the grocery stores, they work at the gas station, or work at the restaurants, you know, in, in the community, you know. They start to, you know, hate on you when they see you doing a little bit better than them each and every day. Yep, and now guess what they're doing? Trying to start some shit with me. Yeah, and it hurts because I'm 54. These are like in their early 20s, you know, where everything works below the belly, right? Mm -mm -mm. I said that's the only thing about when you get old, <laughs> my age. <laughs> Take a lot of stuff for granted, such as. See, when I was in my 20s, and I said, them kind of girls is giving me problems now. You know, everything works. You know what I mean? You put your hand down there, and you know, tell you, you know, you can go home and not wash your hands for a week, and you'll still smell her. You know, see, when you get my age with a woman, you can't do none of that. You know, because everything don't work no down there no more. <laughs> but that's a new, that's another video. Anyway, okay. So the problem is, what they've been doing to me is when I come into these places to purchase things, you know, I say, y'all know, I drink coffee. You know, I like having coffee parties. You're never too busy to have a coffee party. Really, whether it's at Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Dunkin' Donuts, and, and, and a shout out to all the local hole in the wall coffee places. Now, I, I have coffee parties. And see, these nice, I thought, sweet, gorgeous, delicious looking young girls, okay, who are in their early 20s. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, they starting to hate on me. You know, like I said before, they speak to everybody, but when I come in, I come to, to the cash register, what? Yeah, we're gonna trip, what? You know, but the title of this, we are living in a time where either you got it or you don't. And here's what I've been saying. When I go to these places I told you about, and you know, they, they, they get my coffee right, you know, so I kind of overlook the attitude. I thought my coffee got to be right. I'll get real mad. <laughs> and I might even start to cry. <laughs> Anyway, this is for another video. This is 
subscribe to it because I'm going to make that video. But anyway, yeah. Okay, remember long before the pandemic? You know, gorgeous looking woman, sweet to you. And for those of you that drink coffee, understand that's very important. You know, to get ready to dress your coffee just the right way, you leave them a tip, you know, a, a dollar or two, right? Guess what I've been hearing in the tip can? Wow, what is it called? Tip can. Ah! Uh oh. Uh, of course. This is what I've been hearing in the tip can. Yeah, you know, so the reason why I'm doing all this, going through all these changes to make my point, is now I give those gorgeous looking young ladies the exact change because, yeah, say that your coffee is, well, average cup of coffee is what, three fifty, And you get them a 5 or a 10 or a 20, don't ever... Ever, 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 ever. Hmm. Get him a 50. Do you know what they try to take it from you? Won't give it back. Oh, you don't want your change back, do you? What? 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 Hell yeah, I want my change. Now, they're hating on you. Hating. We are living in a time. Got it? Oh, you don't check, 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 check. Oh, we want to do that. No, so uh, wait, I gotta find that. I gotta find that, that nickel. So now, when you come into the place to get your your coffee and stuff, you know they mean mugging you, you know, real mean and nasty towards you, but. <clears throat> Extra short mini skirts with no pantyhose on. And you know, I'm from the hood, came from a broken home. You know, when my parents, you know, I don't even remember ever seeing eating at the. I ain't never ate at the family table with my whole family before. Well, my parents, I ain't bullshit. You know, so shit. You know? Yeah. So I'm coming in to get my coffee. Oh, they be looking so good. And see, when you're raised in the hood like that, with nothing but prostitutes is on the corner, uh, weed houses, you know, guy beating up his hoe in the street, I'm not making this up. See, these are the things that I saw. So I'm saying that to say this. So when you get away from the hood, you know, when you find you, I, I live in the suburbs. It's, it's nice, it's quiet. The police, they don't put it with none of that shit. Okay. So, you know, I paid for it and I gave him a tip. And I, I gave him, I think, a couple of dollars, you know. And she gonna look at me like, you know, so that's all you gonna give me? What the name of this video? We are living in a time. Either you got it, <laughs> or you, what? Or they go, or you don't, know, see. And it's just getting worse and worse for me. And do not get me wrong. I love attention from young, gorgeous looking women who look really tasty and delicious like a pooski. Because today is Pooski Wednesday, for those of you that's in Michigan. So I, I like that. But, see, a lot of women out here are homeless. A lot of them living in their cars, getting kicked out of their cars, running from the repo man and stuff like that. And it's just getting worse. It is. So, uh, Fellas, put in the comment section. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Are you all going through this? Yourself. Because it's getting pretty rough out here. And it's only going to get rough because, worse because, um, like I said, either you got it or you don't. So the next thing is, excuse me. They go up violence. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's next. And it's gonna it's gonna be with women. It is. 
See, Pookie and Ray Ray, the problem with them is Pookie and Ray Ray are dumb, and they're going to get dumber, dumbest. See, so she. I am so sorry, dude, but if I hadn't, you know, took care of that, it would have came on out of my nose while I was talking to you. That wouldn't have been cool at all. Um, so now, oh, then you got senior citizens, a lot of evictions, okay. And like I said before, even in the hood, what was left of it. You respect your elders, you know what I mean? Well, now your elders, she trying to pop her bra off and you see her titties in the bathroom for just $2, you know, or a dollar fifty, fuck, 50 cents. See, so you got to come from the gorgeous women who don't have nothing, and then unfortunately you got the senior citizen women who got evicted. They, they uh, fixed income is not enough for them to live where they were living. So it's just, again, either you, we live in a time where either you got it or you don't. See, and this is fucked up. It really is. You know, because I ain't looking for no girlfriend. And don't get me wrong. Back in the day, a girlfriend was a girlfriend. Fellas, do y'all remember when back, we talking about 1980. You know, shake your pants and Sassoon and jaw that's even Gloria Vanderbilt, and I shake my pants, you know I'm dressed to kill you. And when Northland was over, for those of you that live in Michigan, you know, baked cookies and stuff like that, where you kissed your girlfriend and you could still smell her on your skin the next morning. You know what I mean? When y'all would kiss each other and stuff, y'all was, you know, still living at home for, you live for the weekends, you get that first kiss, but you let you take and put your hand in her panties and smell her coochie for the first time. Do y'all remember them days? <laughs> well, they ain't like that no more. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's horrible. But tune in. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be telling y'all some more shit that happened. You know, out here, we living in a time where either you got it <laughs> or you don't. And, and they... Women are willing to do a lot of things for them. Quarter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another quarter. Oh, man. That can get you some. She take her panties off. I'll let you take them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Another quarter. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Nickel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming up. Quarter. Yeah. 80 cents can get you five girls, five women in the bathroom at the coffee shop for an hour. Like I said, <laughs> we're living in a time where what? Either you got it or no, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now they're trying to give me a hard time, you know what I mean? And I'm from the hood, you know. Usually when women start giving me a hard time, <sighs> I end up fussing. Fighting and fucking. 